to have two questions. First, we know that this is all all towers will be uh, covered by two facades, uh, double facades. What is the numbers of economy? Yeah, I believe that the the, the consultants, the designer, uh, did uh, a good job of the analysis first before come up with the with the with the idea. Yeah, what is the different in percentage? Right, if they if you use the single facade with the other technology compared with uh, what we have done now, and is it worth it with all the benefits and all the advantage? Um, uh, regarding the uh, car parking uh, requirement, yeah, uh, I have no idea about this Shanghai regulation. Which is, uh, uh, is there any special deal uh, from the local authority? Uh, for the uh, car parking ratio to be provided, especially this is a super tall uh, building, and uh, combined with uh, some of the function office, residential, and etc. Okay, mm. thank you. The first question, the double facade question. So it's a really a question of trade-offs, right? Which is the whole point of the talk today. Is you can make a single facade perform the same. The question is, what are you giving up, right? You're not going to have the same form, the same expression. Uh, I pointed out the glass is very transparent, so it creates the experience of a building that's very transparent. So of course, if you don't have glass, you can have a single facade that performs just as well, right? But then you can't see out of the building. Or you can have a very dark glass that you can't see out. And so there are other ways to get performance. Uh, so the whole point is that it's about performance plus experience together. And that's the that's where the return on the investment comes from. So okay. you can quantify the difference between the two, but are you really comparing apples to apples? Uh, the second question was about the parking. Do you want to add anything, Xiaomei, or I can? Yeah, about the uh, parking, uh, China have a code. You know, written has written parking code, and office have office parking code. The primary residence also. So for tall building, there's no unique code just for tall building, but based on your program, based on uh, functions, you come out what's the then each function car parking requirement is, and then what's the total building parking requirement is. I believe Shanghai Tower is about eight, 1800 to, uh, yeah, 1800 parkings. Yeah, that's we can, can we have the podium retail, and we also have apartment, we also have the office, also have a hotel. So we use a variety of code to reflect that function, and then come out with the total. And then we decide how many base for, uh, basement floor need to host those uh, total amount of parking. So actually, regarding the double facade, actually, um, Gensley, our design firm, has already yeah, devised the formula yeah, to tell us the difference, and also make the calculation about the expenses. So actually, according to this uh, calculation, and then we are confident and bold enough to use uh, the current uh, um, glass panels. Yeah, of course, we will make a further calculation to see yeah, how insulated uh, this uh, um, glass panel will be after its completion and operation. Yeah, due to time limit, I didn't mention just now, because for our energy management system, yeah, we can have a very holistic monitoring. Yeah, actually, when it is put into use, and we will measure all these points in order to have a more holistic picture about each energy consumption. Yeah, of course, the actual uh, figures will also be used as a test of our uh, theoretical design. And uh, with this energy uh, management system, we will also come up with our CPMS. Yeah, with uh, this uh, data collection and also based on the CPMS software, and uh, we can have very consistent and unified management. Yeah, of course, uh, the final economic benefits of double facade is subject to evaluation after the completion and operation. <laughs> so regarding the car parking, according to different uh, Chinese uh, codes, and uh, we have uh, prepared you know, 1,800 uh, parking lots. So yeah, actually this figure coincides yeah, with the standards uh, according to the Chinese uh, three-star environmental uh, standard and also the LEED platinum 
uh, level. Yeah, uh, because according to the uh, Chinese uh, National um, Green um, um, Technology Three Star um, Standard, actually the parking lots uh, cannot uh, be um, more than one thousand eight hundred. And according to the platinum lead system, yeah, the total uh, parking lots cannot be uh, less than one thousand eight hundred. So actually, it coincides with this um, uh, threshold. Because uh, the two different standards have different uh, backgrounds and concepts. Yeah, of course, for all those 1,800 parking lots and uh, our property management uh, department, it will make a reasonable arrangement accordingly to see how we can make the allocations uh, for the hotel and uh, for the offices, for the tenants, uh, for the individuals, etc. And uh, under our property management company, and we will set up an independent department or section for the park. Uh, for the car parking, yeah, in order to satisfy the demands for all our building occupants. Yeah, and also more importantly, it also relies on our coordination with our neighborhood. So we try to have a unified price yeah, um, together with uh, the Shanghai Financial Center and also Jingmao Tower and also IFC. Yeah, because if our car parking price is one yuan lower than other parking lots, it means that we don't we can never have sufficient area for parking. Still adjacent to uh, Basanto's uh, question about the uh, uh, about the uh, local codes, I believe uh, there's uh, uh, concerns about the uh, whether you are uh, developing this using the uh, the, the everything in uh, local Chinese code. Uh, in terms of a uh, fire and life safety uh, evacuation method, or you are pushing the boundaries by using the performance space uh, design. So, uh, can you give uh, some highlights on that? Ah, uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Um, first of all, yeah, uh, for the fire and fighting. Um, uh, technologies inside this building, of course, uh, yeah, we have adopted a performance-based design and uh, also for all the hardware and the facilities and uh, they are already up to our design standards. But regarding the fire uh, protection or fire fighting, because in Chinese, uh, fire uh, fighting refers uh, to um, removal and protection or, um, or prevention of the fire. So I believe that for the fire fighting, so the focus uh, will be more uh, related to the prevention. So we will um, fully reliant on our uh, future management in terms of fire fighting. Yeah, because um, um, in order to get rid of the fire, in case we um, have this uh, fire, um, then it means that we can only use the sprinkles or the gas and or the dry powder to kill uh, the fire. And uh, um, it means that uh, mainly we will use the water to uh, get rid of the fire because uh, under such circumstances, yeah, in very few cases, we can rely on the, uh, the external yeah, assistance. So it means that uh, more importantly, yeah, we have to arrange the alarm system and the evacuation system. So it means uh, that uh, we need to have very uh, good organization and uh, management. Yeah, we have to make sure that all our systems and facilities are working normally. And also, most importantly, the people management is uh, the priority. And uh, also, according to the Chinese code, and we have to uh, uh, have our people on duty 24 hours a day. Thank you.